So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux. Can you tell any difference between these two? They look pretty close straight away. Hello, so I've got another comparison video for you today between two pairs of Nike Air Jordan 1. The retail pair is on my right and the fake pair is on my left. And this video is just a comparison to help you if you're trying to purchase the retail pair and what to look for so that you don't purchase a fake pair. Hello, so I thought I'd just jump in here and tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, IP Royal. So as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of sneakers, but these were actually purchased without a bot. But nowadays, that's almost impossible. And that's where IP Royal is here to help. They're offering you a special coupon code with 30% off their proxies. Their proxies come from real devices with real ISP connections. If you use these proxies, it means that a retail store will see every transaction as an individual. So you can keep checking out and checking out and every single one you put through, they'll think it's another person. However, it's just you, so you can keep copying sneakers. Bots also use these proxies to hide your activity so you can skip annoying captures like this and we don't want them, do we? So if you want to try their proxies, there's a link in the description, the coupon code's on the screen for 30% off, and let's hope you can get some more sneakers. So now let's get right into the comparison. Let's take a look at both of the box lids. So from the close up, you can see the box lids are actually slightly different. So if you look at the red Nike text on top, you can see the slightly different shape on both retail to fake. And if you look at the color, you can see it's a lighter red on the retail one compared to the fake one, which is a much darker and bold red. Also the fake one's a little bit more damaged than the retail one. But the retail one does have this stupid tape on that everyone knows size the retail store puts on. And it really annoys me how they put that tape on because you can't really take it off without damaging the box because the actual like material comes off when you try and take the tape off. It really annoys me. So we'll spin the boxes around and take a closer look at the labels of both pairs and I'll compare them side by side. So from the close up, you can see the fake one has gone for the US price tag sticker, which is common because fakes always seem to base this off the US release because there's just normally more pairs and the market there is bigger. So they're just going for a US price tag just to be a little bit more common. But if you compare them side by side, you can see differences between the two pairs. So looking at where it says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, you can see the font size is different from retail to fake. And also looking where it says USA 10 and Hull has all the European sizes, the UK sizes and the centimeter sizing, you can see this font size text is very different from retail to fake once again. But nobody really wants me to talk about the boxes for the entire video and they would prefer to see the shoes. So we'll just open them up and take a closer look. Let's start with the retail pair. Open it up. As you can see, the paper covers the shoe so they're not exposed. If we open up the fake one, well, there's no paper at all. So here are the shoes. There's no paper in the box. I think they've just forgotten to put the paper in, which is a little bit weird. But we'll take the shoes out and start comparing them. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux. Can you tell any difference between these two? They look pretty close straight away. So the first difference I'm going to point out between the two pairs is to take a look at the Nike Air label underneath the tongue. And if we compare this side by side and take a look at the text, you can see it's very different from retail to fake. So if you look at the bottom where it says made in China and you can see this text is a bigger gap on the retail one compared to the fake one between the text and the stitching itself. If you look at the fake one, you can see the text at the bottom is practically touching the stitching. Whereas on the retail one, there's a bigger gap. Also, if you look at the stitching going across this label, you can see it's more tightly stitched together on the retail one and a little bit messy and loose on the fake one. So there is a difference in the stitching quality underneath the tongue label. If you look on the front of the tongue and that stitching going across here, you can once again see differences in the quality of the stitching. On the retail one, it's much smaller stitching and it's more compact compared to the fake one, where the stitching is much larger than the retail one. However, these are already quite minor differences. So if we spin the shoes upside down and take a look at the sole plate and look underneath that Nike logo here, you can see it's got a patterned material below. Here on the bottom side, you can see that the pattern is different from retail to fake, with it being much larger on the retail one compared to the fake one. And we would also say that the actual sole itself is a slightly more glossy look to it on the fake one compared to the retail one. But after a few wears, this can be pretty hard to see as well. So if you take a look at the shoe from the side and take a look at the actual shape of the shoe, these are both a UK nine. And however, the shape is actually quite different between the retail and fake. What I would say is the fake one looks a little bit larger. It looks almost like a nine and a half or a 10. It's just slightly more chunky than the retail one. In terms of sizing, I have slid them both on my feet and I would say the fake one fits half size bigger. So the sizing is a little bit different. In terms of length, 
There's a slight difference between the two pairs, with the fake one being maybe half a centimeter longer, but that is really, really close. On the inner side, if you take a look at this white leather underneath the swoosh, you can see it's slightly tumbled on the retail pair. However, on the fake one, the only difference is it's a lot more tumbled than it is on the retail one. If you look below the swoosh, you can see how tumbled that level is on the fake one. It's really clear and obvious to see, and it's just not so much on the retail pair. However, it's still pretty close. Spinning the shoe around to the back and you can see a difference in the hourglass shape between the two pairs. On the retail one here, you can see how significant the hourglass shape is at the back side of the shoe. Whereas on the fake one, it's just not quite. It's got a slight hourglass shape, but it's not as obvious as it is on the retail pair. If you look at where the sole joins the upper material, you can see it has stitching going all the way around, which holds the sole plate to the actual shoe itself. And on the retail one, all these stitches are pretty much exactly the same length going all the way around. They're all very even. Whereas if you look on the fake one and I spin this around to the inside, you can see here there is a minor stitching on the inside. And I'll give you a close up of this where you can see that the stitching doesn't match up all the way around the shoe. Whereas on the retail pair, it does. This is a very small difference, but it's something you're going to have to look for if you're trying to legit check these pairs because these are incredibly close. So now we're going to take a look inside the shoe. Inside the shoe, the retail one comes with a cardboard shoe tree kind of thing. Whereas the fake one comes with absolutely nothing at all, which is a telltale sign that they're fake. Take out the insole from the fake pair, take out the insole from the retail pair, and here we can see a slight difference between the two. If I give you a close-up of the Nike Air symbol at the back of the heel, you can see there's a slight color difference between the two, and the overall insole is a different color from the retail to fake, with it being slightly lighter on the top of the insole compared to the fake one, where it's a slightly more blue hint to it. If you spin this upside down, you can see that the glue on the bottom of the insole is different as well. It goes further up on the retail pair and just goes up halfway on the fake pair. Also, it's a slight angle on the retail pair, whereas on the fake one, it goes straight across. These are some details you have to look for if you are trying to authenticate. In terms of how strong the glue is, if I put my hands on both of them. The fake one's a stronger glue. Maybe why it smells so badly of glue, but it is a stronger glue than on the retail one. If we take a look inside the shoe, now that the insoles are out, and I'll give you a close up of this, you can see that the stitching inside is very clean on the retail one compared to the fake one, which is a little bit messy on either side. Also the loose stitches that go across the middle, you can see they're taped down with a yellow tape on the retail one, whereas on a white tape on the fake one. So there is small differences to look for inside the shoe if you are paying close attention. Giving you a close up of both of the labels inside the shoe, there's also a difference here. So I'll show you in the close up. Here you can see that the text and font size is different from retail to fake. What I would say is slightly more bold on the retail pair compared to the fake one. It also makes it look like the label is slightly larger on the retail one compared to the fake one once again. But as you can see from this comparison, these are actually really close and are one of the closest Jordan 1s I've ever done and ever compared, which is surprising because these aren't actually that high in demand. They're actually good for under retail and they still replicate it. So just be careful out there. If you are trying to purchase a retail one, this is what you should look for. And I hope this video has helped you. Please stay tuned, please subscribe, like the video, and I hope you have an amazing day.